Hey, it's Mike with the Studio for Teaching and Learning Innovation. Uh, today I want to talk about how you can use Panopto for student engagement opportunities. Um, so Panopto is, as some of you might know, um, the tool where faculty members can create their own videos. It also allows students to record their videos and for them to watch each other's, but it takes a little bit of work to get that working, but it does integrate into Blackboard. So let me show you uh, how to do that. Uh, so I'm in a Blackboard course right now, and I'm in Blackboard Ultra, and you'll notice that if I go to um, Books and Tools here on the left-hand menu, I can click on Books and Tools, and I've got a bunch of different options, including Panopto Video. So I'll go ahead and click on Panopto Video here. So it's going to launch the Panopto tool, and um, what I can do then is I can create a folder for student submissions and let's see how to do that. So to create that folder, the first thing I'll do is I'll come in and I'll go to this uh, gear here up at the top right, Folder Settings. I'll click on that and you'll notice that on the overview I've got the opportunity to create an assignment folder. So I'll click on that assign Create Assignment Folder and that's it, it's been created. Now I want to do a little bit of uh, editing to that folder so that it makes things um, easy for the students. So let me close this uh, window and we will go into this assignment folder and we're going to do a little bit of editing in that. So you'll notice that I have this really long ugly title in my folder now that's been created and if I click on that I will be able to edit it. So I'll go back to my settings folder settings button and I'll click on that and here's where I can edit the name and I might call this assignment one and I'll hit save so that's the first thing to do is to change the name of that second thing I want to do is if I want students to see each other's videos um, I'll need to change the settings a little bit in this area over here so let's take a look at some of the settings so if I go to settings you'll notice I have allow viewers to see each other's sessions I'll need to check that box And then you might want to also check and see that all of the other settings are things that you uh, want to have. Allow viewers to make notes public is a good setting to keep on. Um, notify viewers via email and Microsoft Teams when new videos are ready might be a really good option if you want students to know when other videos are available. Um, I don't think you want to disable comments on the folder, especially if you want students to engage with each other's. And that's basically all I would suggest. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And now you'll notice I have that folder. So I'm going to close this window again. OK, so once I've created that folder, all I need to do is add the folder to my main uh, stream. So let's say I wanted it just on my home page. So I can go to, um, again, Books and Tools, View Course and Institution Tools. And you'll notice I've got Panopto video and I can just hit plus here and that Panopto video is now available to students and I can make it visible to students and if you click on that it will launch and now you just have to instruct students to go to the assignments folder and once they're in the assignments folder they can go ahead and create a video so they'll just hit create Panopto capture they can also upload media that they've created before, um, <clears throat> but I'll just hit Panopto Capture. Here I've turned on the, um, the Panopto uh, webcam recorder, does it right in your web environment, and if I click on the little, little red button here, it'll give me a countdown. And then I can go ahead and record. Uh, there may be a little bit of lag because I'm recording this through another application. But anyway, um, here I am. I can give you my little update, a little bit about myself, and once I'm done with that, I can hit stop. And it's going to automatically put it in the right folder. You'll see here assignment one. And that's it. That's all the student needs to do. And they'll go ahead and close this window. And if I hit refresh here, and I go back to assignment one, you'll notice there's that assignment one, and they can change the, uh, the name of it, 
so that it's their name. It's very easy to change. They just go to the settings button here, and then they can go ahead and change the name. So I can call that uh, Mike B's assignment, and I can go ahead and save that. And other students can comment on it by clicking into it. And they can go ahead and go to the discussion area. And they can post a public comment here. 